Ladies and gentlemen, you know it's that kind of killing vibe when Loops Podcast is on. It's your boy Pires Kakuru, aka Bansa Boy, and you're welcome to Loops Podcast. Today, we're talking Young King, anything if it happens. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're talking about Cameroon music, and we're going to be talking about the Made in Cameroon Music Festival. We're going to be linking up with Lenora T, aka Bansa Diva. She's going to be giving us insights on what went down. Banging, banging, banging information, music, everything right here. On loose podcast, I'm chilling with my man Greasy on the beat. He's on engineering, killing it, ladies and gentlemen. Say hi to Greasy. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Don't do it's loops podcast. When we come back, it's information, music, credit, 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 credit to people doing good work. And you know how we roll, chilling, chilling, not in the door, picking for sun out there. Grab a copy, if not, you're too late. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Pires Kakuri, aka Banzo Boy, and I'm here with my man Greasy on the beat. And we're here to bring you guys the best of what's been happening online and in the music industry in Cameroon. So we're going to be talking about Pascal dropping this amazing, amazing. I don't know how to call it an EP or an album, but it's lead to hell. Greasy, what do you think? Yo, bro. Pascal, shout out to you, bro. You know, guy, moi, je kiffe la l'EP, uh, c'est ça. Voilà, l'EP, là, voilà, depuis Picking for Sun. C'est high. Et c'est du loup. C'est du loup, quoi, man. C'est, c'est, c'est le ghetto, tu vois. Tout le monde va se reconnaître dedans. Je know ça. Tout le monde va se reconnaître. Et en fait, c'est qui s'est aussi passé aux États-Unis par rapport à nos artistes là, hein? Bon, moi j'ai carrément kiffé parce que je sais pas, c'est la première fois, hein? je sais pas. La, moi, je... la première fois. C'est la première fois qu'un truc se passe comme ça, quoi. Là où je vois, euh, 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 je sais pas, un truc qui se, qui se concernant les Camerounais, qui se déroule dans un high pays comme les États-Unis comme ça, ça veut dire que l'impact là, on est déjà, on a déjà commencé à travailler, quoi. En fait, c'est un peu ça. So now we are in the logic where we find ourselves with good music. Pascal, shout out to you, man. You made my fucking week. I'm saying the effort right here. Loops podcast. I do shout it. Shout out to you, Pascal. As we want it. So now we're gonna take a little music break and get some of those Pascal Mine vibes. And when we get back, we're gonna be talking to Lenora T, aka Banso Diva. She's gonna be telling us a lot more about the Made in Kamen Music Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. It's your boy. My vow be jealous. My chacha be jealous. And in my whole trousers. My posa be jealous. Blood in my eye, why? Blood in my eye, why? The same bomb is jealous and alive. Where am I? I the heart. My master be jealous. My brother be jealous. Me some kind of men that know they come from my corner. Men away they know they cause no they sleep on the chain my sense. But people they check my check in them. No I use no my money for buy my serum. What you see I the shine for my picture them. They ain't want any men and they hit me up. They wash me, they clean me up. Vous vous restez là pour salir mon nom parce que votre opinion ne donne pas les rangs. Si j'étais là j'allais faire comme un ouais. Si je n'étais pas belle j'allais faire comme un ouais. If I be what what for do now. If I be what what for do now. Today my head, money tonight my head the hot. Me me don't die if I walk so long. Me pay whole story in a different world. They say if I marry that big belly, but I'm a sufferer and I'm better no one down. So all these my school never noticed. All these my friends never waiting now. Back again, ladies and gentlemen. This time we're gonna talk about the Made in Cameroon Music Festival that went down in the USA some days ago, featuring Stanley and on my Gasco, Mr. Leo and Minx. So I'm here again with my man Greasy on the beat. Yo, 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 what's up? That's how we do. And we're gonna talk to Lenora T. 
aka Bansa Diva. She was the host of the event, so she got more scoops for us than anybody else. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Lenora T a call. Hey, Lenora, what's up? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. You're welcome to the Loops Podcast. And we're going to talk about the Made in Cameroon Music Festival. So, first of all, I want... Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, First things first, I want uh, you to introduce yourself. You know, since you are the host of the show, I want you to give a little brief introduction of yourself so our audience know who exactly you are and then we move on from there. How about that? Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, my name is Lenora T, aka Banza Diva. Yeah, yeah. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a makeup artist, and um, I also host one or two shows here and there, but mainly I'm a YouTuber. And I'm all about, you know, the culture and the Cameroonian entertainment industry and all of that. So, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I appreciate, I appreciate the work most, uh, people like you do over there because slowly but surely we're beginning to have an audience back in in the usa yeah we're trying it's not easy but we're trying you know there's a lot of cameroonians out here that maybe they came here when they were young so they don't know much about what's going on in cameroon and stuff like that but we're here to you know keep them alert and and stuff like that so we're trying it's not easy but we're trying first uh, before we get to the to the to the part of the show itself i want to ask you guys how do you guys link up as cameroonians in the usa do you guys have uh uh community meetings do you guys what what do you guys do to actually link up like to find cameroonians in too many americans that i i see every day so first of all i attend college here we have like, so first of all in school we have like African associations where you know we link up as Africans mm-hmm. and then we have like the CAMSA where it's like the Cameroonian um Cameroonian Student Association where all the Cameroonians in America we have like a convention in one state, we meet up, we link up, we party together, we learn stuff together. It happens once in a year and actually it's happening right now in Dallas. Uh-huh. I'm not there, but yeah, it's happening right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and then the Made in Cameroon Festival is actually one of those things that actually brings Cameroonians together. There's not a lot of stuff, but that's just to name a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm liking the efforts because as much as we want to grow, we also want to grow with our diaspora community involved. So now let's fall on the, the Made in Cameroon. Yeah own music festival first i want to i don't know how i'm going to extend my my appreciation to all the team the staff and everybody first when the flyer came out some months ago i was like ah oh, too many artists how is it going to be possible blah 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 and then eventually i saw how the work developed and then it grew from that to that and this is the first time we have to remind our audience that this is the first time ever that a group of Cameroonians can perform yeah. on the stage and we call it a festival. I really want to give a round of applause for that. That was that was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. That was that was dope. It was epic, yeah. It has to go down in history for sure. Yeah. I'm here with my man, my the producer of Blue Podcast, Greasy on the beat, and we want to get into the details of how this thing happened. First, let's go to the selection of... Uh, Hi, Rizzi. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Leonora? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, man. You know, I appreciate the thing you've done. You I'm know. happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We're happy to have you right now, you know. <laughs> greasy, greasy, <laughs> greasy, greasy is francophone, so he has this tendency of rapping his English in the French <laughs> camera. Yeah, that's it. I, man. I mean, je, je parle, je parle français un peu, mais je pas trop, pas très bien, mais je parle un peu. Non, mais c'est pas grave, ça va. Oui. Tu, je t'écoute, tu vois, ça va. Tu es camerounaise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
We only do scammers on there. Okay, yeah. let well, let's get back to it. So now, first things first. How did you guys select the artists that were going to come and perform at the festival? What was what 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 were, what were the, the the criteria? It's like based on what because our audience to uh you know cameroonians are always judging so they always want to know uh maybe somebody has an artist who he deems as his favorite and he does not see his artist traveling to perform on 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 on, on a day like that or things like that so how was the selection done so like i told you um i was only the host like mm -hmm. i was just there to host but from what the organizer said like the main brain behind was ibanga jang mm -hmm. she said um her main selection process was she wanted people that were popular in both the french speaking and the english speaking part of cameroon mm -hmm. so she wanted people that you know, we're popular in both sides of Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So that's how she got to select like Magasco and Mings mm -hmm. and Stan. No. And if, if you ask the truth is, these are the people that were really like willing to work with her. Cause this was like the first festival ever. Mm -hmm. So everyone is just like a little bit skeptical about it. But mm -hmm. these were the main people that were, were down to like, yeah, let's do this. You know, but even though at some point it was like, it wasn't going to work out. These mm -hmm. were the people that were like still down for it. Like, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. That's there were a couple of parties that, you know, there were a little bit of misunderstandings mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. happened, but yeah, that was the selection process, just like people that were both, you know, that would draw both the Francophone and the Anglophone crowd in America. Amen to so, that. Yeah. That's I want to I wanna give a, a big shout out to Ibanga, by the way. You know, <laughs> uh, we've never physically met, but... Uh, Mm -hmm. I had some couple of disappointments from her part based on her label, uh, but that's another story. Coming to the the, the Cam Made in, in Cameroon Music <laughs> Festival, they did an amazing, yeah. an amazing job. They did an amazing job, and this is for me. Many people were criticizing that there was not enough publicity around the event, uh, be it uh, on ground here in Cameroon, and even some people that I spoke with in in the U.S. Cameroonians that in. Uh, Ohio, Texas, uh, uh, Maryland. They said the communication wasn't like, it wasn't uh, fluid. Everything was either hooked up one place or did not go through the other way. So what oh, were the- Do you mean like in the sense like, they did not know about the show or did they just mean like the publicity was they not They knew generally? about the show, but then they, you know, when you, when you actually, when you actually conceive something that, okay, this thing is happening, it needs maybe reminder, pressure, you know, some, in yeah. some while, maybe a radio, radio shows talking about it, TV, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, I really can't tell yeah. them. Then they, yeah. they are, they are, they are reports to me where there wasn't enough publicity around the, the event in the Cameroonian community in the USA. So that's why uh, I feel like, you know. I feel like honestly, like everyone tried their best, like the artists tried their best. Me mm -hmm. as a host, I tried my best to mm -hmm. put it out there. Mm -hmm. I'm a YouTuber. So on my YouTube channel, I was talking about it on my Snapchat, my Instagram and all the other people, everyone else was involved, was trying their best to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, it was the first one, you know? So yeah, I feel like if people were complaining, then that's probably just one of the downs of the show. Mm -hmm. And that's what, we're probably gonna work on in the future I but like i feel idea. like everyone did their best to like put it out there as much as they can that's yeah really, it's, it's that's wonderful cool. that's cool. it's wonderful i really i really like the the idea and there was no complaints after that you know normally sometimes when artists travel to perform they come back and they say yeah they, this was not there they was not there but it looks like everybody's kind of satisfied <laughs> i like the little show the guys put up in uh up there and it was as, great uh, as it was said, like a really great experience mm -hmm. personally i'm a cameroon like cameroon music industry advocate i'm for it i don't know much about the the movie industry and all of that mm -hmm. i'm still getting to you know be familiar with that but the music industry i was so happy because i'm from a state where not a lot of people get to come out here of course they come out here they go to dallas they go to maryland all the popular states mm -hmm. but this was an opportunity for like all of them to be in one place and mm -hmm. all your favorite artists in one place i think that was just like perfect and i can't wait to wait like to see like future shows and i'm pretty sure it's gonna I'm get bigger and bigger and bigger, and bigger, and bigger like, i'm already anticipating this is, it it's i want to be, be there dope, like 
Sorry? I really want to be at next year's festival, the Cam Made in Cameroon Music Festival. I really want to experience That's what I said. That. I'm, I'm like, like, this is going to be a show where people are going to actually leave Cameroon to come out here. Because I don't think, do you guys have something like that in Cameroon where like all the artists come to one place and um, put on a show? We had the, the, the Click Urban Music Festival that started, but then... Uh, with all the tension and all, I, th yeah. I don't think they're going to work smoothly. The Douala Hip Hop Festival lost its credibility to a lot of people already because, you know, uh. the artist selection, it's poor. And that's something I always fall back to when it comes to, let's say, awards, playlists, and all these things. Mm -hmm. I really want to know how people pick their artists based on what. But if, when you look at the trends of the events and everything we have here, it's based on man no man. They don't go on statistics. Like, okay, this person is doing right. this, this person yeah, is doing yeah, this, so right. this person has to be the one. I just, on pray, I just pray it doesn't get to that level because you know how things get infiltrated and stuff. Like, I just hope it doesn't get there, you know? I pray, I pray Banga and her team stay very strong and they have to be transparent and democrat because if you're not transparent and democratic, the whole thing falls into 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 bad hands and maybe bad ideas start coming in. Into the wrong hands. Yeah. yeah. But I really think, yeah. for my part, I really think. I, Go ahead. You know the whole the whole idea came from the one fest, the one Africa fest, the one fest Africa yeah, yeah, for I sure. Know. Yeah. But it's supposed to be like a show where all the Africans, the African artists, come together. Mm -hmm. And when she went there, she realized that it was dominated by. Um, Nigerians, ninety percent yeah. was Nigerians, mm -hmm. and then Mr. Leo was the only person from Cameroon and someone else from another country. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, "Hey, let's let's actually do this for Cameroon, you know? Let's do our own thing where all the artists came." And you know, when so you really think, I when, really when you get this, to talk like, to Ibanga, let let her understand that I have some sparkles in my head core ideas that we can talk about because there is this <laughs> there is this thing there is this thing i feel right if you if you have to have mm -hmm. an event like that one the event has to be mm -hmm. it has to stay alive within the period that the event does not hold and after it holds it still has to be alive like it has to be like a page where right. they're constantly posting yeah. Cameroonian music things then uh, constantly talking uh, posting people's vlogging about Cameroon maybe get on radio get a program on on local radios around your cities I don't know maybe you start infiltrating the Cameroonian program there eventually maybe we'll have somebody on TV and that's how we grow this thing so uh, let's 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 go now to my the part that I find really interesting sometimes the finances the sponsoring of the the the, the, the whole thing how did it come about? Was it contributions? Was there a powerhouse behind it or what? Um, she had a couple of sponsors. Um, she had Ethiopian Airlines who took care of like the flights of the artists that wonderful. Away from Cameroon to here. Mm -hmm. She had um, sponsorship from um, Marriott, which is like a they do they have hotels here, mm -hmm. so they took care of like the like where they'll stay yeah, while they in and, all, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you have um Connoisseur Paris. I don't know if you know Connoisseur yeah, Paris. Yeah, I, I know Connoisseur Paris. I know Cameron Connoisseur Paris. He has like Paris. menswear. Yeah, I know him. The the fresh guy with the beard. Yeah, I know him. He's yeah. Really, yeah. And then you have Reversal. I'm not sure what Reversal is, but yeah, those were the main sponsors of the show. Mm-hmm. I fall, and then I for the fall organizers, right behind the you had IOS, ISIS and Icon, Icon Pro. Yeah, I know Icon Pro. I, I, I did a couple of uh, 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 internships with them, and, and I know the, I know the guys. And, no, that it's amazing. It's amazing. And yeah. I think if we can actually, yeah. if we can actually have a one festival here in Cameroon, and that one there, and we keep it regular. I don't know. This is the question I always ask myself. How? do we make these things fun to the local person like the person in the streets in the taxi in the car because people have come back from even i will not say people let me say that information mm -hmm. is here now well, how are we using it our radios talking about it uh, our blogs talking about it enough our tv stations talking about it we have not synchronized the information that is online in Cameroon with that on the radio and TV, and that's what is killing our artists at at, at a certain level. 
and I really think platforms like hers will go a long way to 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 help. So now the plan, the next one is it is it going to be a, a fixed event or is going to be an event that moves around, you know, touch other uh, uh, states, other cities? What did you say? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Is the Made in Cameroon Music Festival going to stay just in DC or is it going to move to other states or or? I'm not sure about that yet, but I'm pretty sure, of course, because Maryland is, I mean, for now, Maryland, especially for like the first festival, I'm sure they really wanted to get like, you know, like the fact that the selection process was, oh, we're trying to get both Anglophone and Francophone Mm -hmm. um, people that you know, one the artists that, that attract both crowds, mm-hmm. they were just trying to get like the, the optimum, like the the best of what they can from the first festival. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure, you know, with, with the other shows that are coming up, a few things will change. Mm-hmm. So like the state was Maryland, that's where most of the Cameroonians are. Mm-hmm. So maybe with time that would change because we also have Texas where there's a lot of Cameroonians. Mm-hmm. Maybe that will move to Texas. Mm-hmm. I'm not, not sure, but yeah we'll all see how everything unfolds i'm not sure but definitely we have to keep doing this like yeah everybody has to encourage i wasn't even there but i felt the energy she's she's one person you know she needs the encouragement yeah she needs a lot of it she's trying a lot of things it's like it's like i see all the time we're in an industry where nobody's trying something nobody's bringing much new to the table we need more people that create more shows we don't have a show on tv that talks to us about mm-hmm. celebrities we don't have a show on the radio that talks to us about uh, uh, comment sections on twitter we, there's none of that existing i this is the first podcast in Cameroon, mm-hmm. like the first podcast but still, yeah, we still have very few people coming to right. listen to I it. I noticed that. I noticed that. I noticed that. I noticed that. Yeah. So, we, I, think, I think she did good. You guys did an, an amazing job. I don't know. I couldn't reach out to the artist. That I, I talked to my guest when I, 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 I gave him my congratulations because I think you guys did it. This is, this is good. It's a good job. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Yeah, they did great. I think right now that you know, like when they come out here, they try to like do as many shows as possible. So mm-hmm. right now they're like, I know Mr. Leo had a show in Dallas yesterday, mm-hmm. and he, no, 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 on Friday, and then he had one in Houston yesterday. So everyone is just you know trying to like you know do a little something. But from what I see, so. from what I see, right, you guys have the communication. You guys have a little bit of the communication. You have the infrastructure. You have maybe the 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 logistics. Why don't you guys do multiple, let me even music festivals? Not I will not call it festival. Like hangouts where you maybe bring in the foreigners. You guys hanging. You play Cameroon music. Somebody is scratching because for one thing I've noticed that most Cameroonians that are in the US are still they still they still have a very old notion of Cameroon. Like they don't know that there is an artist in Cameroon that sings like Asha. They don't know that maybe there's an artist in Cameroon that sings like Miguel. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they just they, they know just a particular kind of music. And if we have uh, more chills, more link ups, you know, maybe uh, in the in the co- in college, uh, Cameroonian students have a, a bash where they, they hang out with their friends, play them Cameroon music, will grow beat by a bit. You know, we, we really try, like, okay, like, we have the African thing in in, in our college, mm-hmm. and then you have, like, the Cameroonian students that will come out and be like, okay, we want to do a performance by, you know, Cameroonians, but still, you have the Cameroonian crowd here that is all about, oh, I have school, I have work, yeah, you know, know people those. are so focused on school and work, they want to be part of the, the social life, but mm. it's not it's not that easy mm-hmm. you know the best way they can they, they have access to those things are when they get on facebook and you know social media but day-to-day life it's not easy and that's why i really thought the, the made in cameroon festival is perfect because it's not like oh you get up today magasco is here mm-hmm. oh mr Liu is there sunny Eno is there mm-hmm. but when you just have like one thing on one day mm-hmm. where you can like okay i'll take this weekend off work i'll take this weekend off school mm-hmm. and i'll just go there and support all my artists at the same time it's easier it's- whether you're leaving from another state it's it's way easier but it's just hard because people out here are like really working hard mm. and 
people and work, it makes it really, really hard to get people involved. Yeah. So. Well, sorry about I mean, when you go to weddings and stuff, you hear Cameroonian music. Mm -hmm. When you go to parties, you hear Cameroonian music here and there. You know, people try, but it's it's hard because out here in America, it's not it's not bread and butter like people think. It's it's a lot of hard work. People are so busy with their lives and their kids, so it's not it's not the easiest life out here. Talking about so kids, though, congratulations. One. I I hear huh? I, I see your 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 almost a married woman now. <laughs> Congratulations, <girl. laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Lenora T. Yeah. Let's call it a date. We'll yep. probably That's meet. Sativa. We'll probably meet uh, at the next Made in Cameroon Music Festival. For sure, for sure. You know, maybe it'll be hosted Please, by Banso Boy and Banso Diva. Come out here, make it huge, make it big. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she come. All right, have a nice day. You know, there were, there were actually oh. a couple of artists who were supposed to come, but the embassy would not let them. Why? So what, what was the reason? The problem. I think Bless B was supposed to be here, but Bless B and some other people, but yeah, they had issues with the embassy and stuff like that. You know, most of the artists here, that, let's just take this time. Most of the artists here are not registered as artists. And you, you always make them re, uh, travel as tourists because their passport will not have uh, that in there. Like, they don't belong to uh, uh, that community where they say, okay, this is an artist. He can go, he's going for a show. So, it's, so that's what makes it difficult sometimes for them to have a visa. Oh, I get what you mean. Mm. Yeah. All right, thanks, dear. Have a good day. Hello. Stay safe. Thanks for having me. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Brizzy. You've been quiet the whole time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Lucas Murder. Step by step by step 237 music is gonna make it ladies and gentlemen that was lenora t aka Bansor diva check her vlog out she's an amazing vlogger yeah. check her social media lenora t aka Bansor diva everywhere everywhere online man ladies and gentlemen loops podcast is where you get this kind of scoops nowhere else so you you now we all understand why uh, our industry sometimes has some some little ties in some places where artists will be called upon to go represent the country in a big festival like that and turn it down i don't know why i can't judge but then we keep doing our job out here we just have to report what is yeah, yeah. so we also learned that bless b got denied his uh visa for to go perform for the main camera music festival greasy oh my was mom bro ship off this is what it, this is the thing i always say register yourself at the 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 um, uh, ministry well, of culture, culture as an artist so that when you want to apply for yeah, your visa artist. you know you travel as an artist and not as a, 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 a tourist so ladies and gentlemen it's your boy Perez Kakuri you know how we kept it out here we're not gonna keep you guys too long we gotta run up and listen to Pascal's EP if you don't have it that's your problem we're gonna <laughs> bang it go right find now. them bro download it's it's free so why not get it ladies and gentlemen peace is your boy Perez Kakuri stay blessed look, look, look my name is Pascal Zimu for when she Pascal some people call me young king some people call me strike P some people call me picking for son let the story begin Begin for sun, oh, begin for sun, oh. My fun is to lay the Lucas murder.